Okay. I, the, uh, commun uh, this meeting of the, co the Committee of Community and Business Development uh, will start. The clerk will call the roll. All uh, right. This is the Committee on Community Business and Development. This is Monday, September 9, 2019. We're at 6.30. I have Council Capone. Here. I have Council Napolitano. Here. I have Council McKinnon. Here. And I have Council DeFlorio. Here. We have four members present. We do have a quorum. We have four members uh, present. We do have a quorum. Please stand and the audience can join us in saluting the flag. Clerk, please read the only piece of business uh, on right. the agenda. The only piece on the agenda is a petition off by Council Richard Delasol as president. Did the Ever City Council consider the psychic fortune teller license with psychic boutique at 1936 Revere Beach Parkway? Invite him out. Invite him out. Council Capone. Uh, before we in invite the petitioners up, is, is there a reason why this is in front of us? Typically, is this a renewal automatic? Because the uh, sister was, is, uh, what, they already have a license, but I believe one of the sisters is coming on board. Okay. But the city clerk's here, and he can explain a little better than if I can. can. If we could hear from the city clerk first, and then we'll invite the guests up. If we could please have the city clerk before us. I have a motion to have the city clerk come up. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Good um, evening. Um, Good evening, Mr. Clerk. Councilors, uh, obviously, Sergio Canelli, the city clerk. Um, what's your question? I'm sorry. Uh, is it typically automatic or renewal? Is this a renewal or is so something different going on? It, it's, it's not a renewal. Of one of the, the owner already exists there. Okay. Her sister is coming on as a, another licensee. So in our ordinances, it says no person, person shall tell fortunes for money unless a license therefore has been issued by the city council. Okay. This goes by, with the person. So okay. that's, what we, I, if you remember, sometime last year we amended our ordinances. We had to make it a little bit more like Salem. Not exactly, but, you know, tweaked it that way where it doesn't go with the property. It goes with the, uh, each person. So each person in the property will have to have a, a separate license. Okay. Um, that's how we do it. And she's just, it's, it's not a renewal because okay. there's a new person on it. So that's what the All difference right. is. All right, thank you. And it will be your system. I don't have any other questions for our clerk. Council McKinnon. Um, through you, Madam Chairwoman, to the city clerk. Um, do they have to fill out special paperwork or anything like that to add them on? Or? Yes, there's, there's always an application. The application does have the uh, amended version explain, with the new one. That's what I want. I want you to explain that a little Oh, bit. yeah, absolutely. So just, you know, any license in the city comes through that comes through this board comes through me. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts with me, funnels through the city council, and always comes back and, and ends with me. That's where the license gets issued. So once I've passed it on, I make sure that everything has been filled out um, to a T, making sure that they've either told us if it's a new or renewal, if they're in existence or not, and that's why we're here tonight, because it did say renewal, but there is a change in, in the license. So that's why it usually goes to committee. That's why we're here to explain it. That, that was for the viewing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Anyway. And, yeah. and it, it's good to know because it doesn't happen a lot. You yeah. know, a lot of most of our licenses have been here for so long that it becomes second nature. But there are always, you know, there are always new people coming in, which is a great thing. Um, so her, she brought her sister in for, I believe, some help, and we'll be uh, reading fortunes and doing other things in there. And our license uh, requirements that she has to get a license separate. Thank you. You're very welcome, Councilor Napolitano. Thank you. I'm reading uh, section 12-53, which is regarding the, the licensing, correct? Yes. Um, does the applicant live in Ever? Reside in Ever? Actually, uh, the, the, the original, the, our ordinance does, but I don't think state law says it. So um, I don't think they, the last, you don't live in Ever anymore, right? Yeah. When she had the license, she, so our, our ordinance has changed a little bit. Um, so I, I know what you're reading also. Um, so this is all kind of new for us. Uh, yeah, so, so and the, the last owner doesn't live here either. I'm reading. No, no, I, I, I and I agree with this you. This is for the pub. It said license shall be granted only to applicants who have resided continuously in the city for at least 12, 12 months immediately preceding the day of the application. So you're saying state law over I, I, provides that? If, well, state law, not always, because our, our ordinances can be more strict, more stringent. Um, so. 
I, I, I believe Attorney, well, like Faris attorney is, Faris come up too because yeah. he might. He, he's Faris he's definitely. Uh, we have a second. 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 All in favor. Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Attorney Faris. I, I oh. think I can explain that. So you me. just state your name. Attorney Alpha Paul Faris Jr. Thank you. Three sixty six Broadway Everett. Walk in to accept. <laughs> I, I think I explained to you uh, what happened. Is, Se several is that years. Mic on? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. I put it on for you. Thank you. Uh, many years ago, there was a case that went to federal district court. Uh, Judge, uh, I believe it was Judge Toro, from uh, who lived in the hand at the at the time, over the uh, requirement that you're, you're talking about. You have to be a resident of a town for a, a year before and it was struck down as being uh, unconstitutional. Okay. And, uh, what court? Uh, excuse, federal, federal court. Federal, federal court, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, fortunately, uh, we've educated uh, several uh, communities of, about this that nobody's ever done anything to, uh, to put it uh, into proper perspective, but you don't need the uh, one-year requirement anymore. All right, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay, any further questions, Council Capone? If we could just have oh, Attorney yeah, Freeze yeah. just explain exactly what we're looking to do. I think the, oh, the I'm clerk sorry. iterated um, to it, but yeah. we'll just hear from the petitioner. Okay. I actually just have one for the attorney. Sure. Hmm. Any further questions for the attorney? Uh, okay. I think Mr. Capone would like yeah. to just explain a just, just what your client's <laughs> looking to do, what the purpose of the petition is. Okay. Her, uh, her sister has the license there. Uh, her sister is ill. She has a, a disease which makes it uh, very difficult to, to be there for uh, the hours that uh, it requires. So her sister, who was also a fortune teller, uh, has uh, agreed to come in and assist. And as, as uh, the clerk told you, uh, your, your bylaws require a new separate license for each and every individual who's going to be telling uh, fortunes that's all this is council mccann i'm sorry through you madam chairwoman um i the judge's name that heard I that case toro toro yeah t-o-r-r-o t-a-u-r-o uh if you'd like uh i have the cases in, in my office i'll be happy to drop it off at, no no uh, yeah i can i can come by i know you <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks any further questions if not, excuse with the customary thanks. Thank I just want the petitioner and uh, uh, Attorney Faris that you know that the whole body will be uh, voting on this at 7 o'clock. Okay, thank you. And just one final question for our clerk. Absolutely, go ahead. Constable. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Yes. Been no issues, concerns, complaints never. about I've the I've never had a, a complaint. I've been here four years, and I was on the council for a while. I never got complaints. That's a Ward 1 area. Yep. We never had issues with uh, Ms. Green. She's always been good. So. Okay, good. Council McKinnon? Could we have the petitioner uh, come before us too, just to you know explain who she is and you know her intention and stuff? Uh, do I have a second, second on that? <coughs> second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Yeah, I have it. If the petitioner could please come up, state your name and address for the record. Hi, uh, my name is Diana Mitchell, and my home address is 73 Wyatt Street, Mullen, Mass. Thank you, Council McKinnon. And um, just can you explain a little bit of what you're going to be doing down there? Um, it's different types of readings, um, uh, tarot cards, psychic, spiritual, palm readings. So palm, tarot. Yeah, and all the typical readings, yeah. Okay. And I might be in to see you because I need some <laughs> spiritual help myself, so we, we may be <laughs> communicating. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> not for me, though. I'm retiring. <laughs> But uh, thank you. Any further questions for the petitioner? If not, thank you. Excuse with the customary thanks. Any questions for the clerk? Excuse customary Excuse thanks. With Excuse customary with the customary thanks. thanks. And what you uh, Move that we refer it out favorably. Second. So the motion is to refer it out favorably. All in uh, favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. You have recommended favorable action motion to, adjourn. to the city council. Motion to adjourn. Do I have second. a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? You have adjourned.